Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be showing you how I style my middle part. I feel like it's such a controversy sometimes and people are so um, unsure of how to style their middle part. And so I figured out a couple ways that I really like the way it looks and so I want to share those with you so that you can try them and see if it works for you. The middle part is not for everyone, um, but it is a fun little style to change up every once in a while if you're going out or doing something like that. So anyways, with that, let's get started. Okay, so we're starting with a one and a half inch curling iron. Um, it is a Hot Tools pretty big curling iron. Um, and my trick here with this is you're going to be taking small sections. Now your hair might be too short for this, but that's okay. Um, just take a one and a quarter and the key is to take um, bigger sections. And if you have a smaller curling iron, then don't hold it for as long. And what we're going to do is just kind of go around. Um, you're going to leave the ends of your hair out and not go all the way to the top. Um, my hair is also clean. That is a key. Um, and when you blow dry your hair, um, see this curl here? When you blow dry your hair, um, blow dry it in all different directions. And by that, I mean, um, like flip your hair over to this side, blow dry. Flip your hair over to this side, blow dry. With that idea, you're creating um, a lot of volume and it's going to help your hair when it's in the middle part to even have volume um, that you just created with your blow dryer, not even um, naturally, or not naturally, with your teasing comb. So um, the key is to um, to do that and so that you're already starting with a volumized um, hair structure. That sounds weird, like we're dealing with a building. Um, so anyway, when once you finish drying it, what you're going to do for, with your curling iron is you're taking smaller sections to create looser looking curls. Um, you can see my pieces are smaller. Normally I do bigger pieces just because I'm like, I'm in a rush and I want to go through it quickly. Um, so with this in mind, you're going to be creating this like soft tousled look, which is super cute, I feel like, um, for the middle part look. Um, and I'm going to switch up my direction here in just a sec of the direction that I'm curling my hair. Um, so grab this little piece here. And the only reason I do that is because when you don't split your hair into sections, when you curl the hair all one direction, it looks like one big curl. Um, so I just like to add a couple here and there to give it a different direction and add a little dimension to it. Um, so you're just going to repeat this all the way around. As you can see, it's a pretty quick process. Um, anyway, you don't all need to see me curl my hair all the way around. So I'll show you a couple more pieces and then we'll get to the, the end part that's the most important for how to really style it. Remember to leave your ends out and don't go all the way to the top. Um, the back pieces can be harder, but um, just keep going. Okay, so I'm going to finish curling my hair and I will show you what to do once I finish. Okay, so once you've gone through your full head, go back and touch up any curls that you don't really like how they look. Um, this is usually when I go up a little bit higher because a lot of people like the curls, some of the curls to start a little bit higher in their head because, especially for this kind of look because it helps, it does help create volume, but you just don't want curly Q, Shirley Temple look. So just kind of touch up where you see issues. As you can see, I'm creating the wave and that's what this curling iron does. It's, I like it for that. Um, and then tousle this side. I always have trouble curling one side of my head over the other. Like it's, I don't understand it. This side of my head, the way when I, when I have to switch the curling iron, the direction of the curling iron, it always gives me issues. It just doesn't curl my hair as well as the other side. Anyway, so just gonna go and touch up and then um, depending on how you like it, 
you will take a teasing comb here and give it some volume. And, somewhat, and another tip that helps for some people is not truly doing it down the middle. It's going to look down the middle because your hair is normally parted all to one side. Um, but you don't have to do fully like down the middle. As you can see, the true middle of my head is here. And if I do that, it just doesn't look as good. Like it, it looks better when one side has just a tiny bit more, but it's a lot, it's a lot less than what it normally is. And so it gives the middle part illusion, um, which is super nice because then you can fake it and look like you're doing something different with your hair, which you are, but you're not feeling like your hair looks like stuck to your head and not cute. So um, now granted some people pull off the middle part like so well and I'm jealous because I think it's such a fun thing to do every once in a while. Um, okay, so once you have your hair um, curled, you're just gonna take your teasing brush or teasing comb and kind of go through. And you're just creating extra volume that you wouldn't have had. This helps to make you feel like your hair is big and bouncy, which helps with the whole middle part look and feel. As you can see, it already looks bigger. Um, and then you'll just go to the back, give it a good old tease. Kind of toss a little, little. You can always add sea salt spray if you really want to do something different with it. Just kind of brush. If there's any pieces that you aren't liking, just kind of brush through them. Let them lay here. And as you can see, it's really, it looks really cute. So I think you should at least give it a go. Um, now that you have the idea of not truly doing the middle part, but moving it some so that you have the illusion that it's a middle part, um, unless somebody's really inspecting your head. So once you go through with those light, loose curls, just give it a little spray. And honestly, if you're going out and you want to, take that teasing comb with you and give yourself a refresh midway through the night. It's super helpful. Um, I think it's a really cute look, and I think that you can pull it off. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Have a great rest of your day.